everybody, welcome to Ken Knows Gambling. I know it's been a minute since I did a, a longer video. It's Hell, it's probably been a couple weeks since I've done one anyway. But what I wanted to do today is sort of a twofer, okay? I've got a lot of videos, and the things that I'm going to do are probably in my library, but you'd have to search for them. So here's what I want to do. This video is for the new craps person. Uh, the one that really maybe you've never played or you've only played a few times. It's very confusing for you, all the different odds and everything that you can do. But what I want to do today is I'm just going to tell you what to do. I'm going to tell you how much to bet, when to do it. I'm going to make it very, very simple. So the first phase is how I want you to bet and how much to bet. And then the second phase will be a little bit more advanced, but not a whole hell of a lot. And I'm going to try to just break this down. And now I'm not teaching odds and all that. I want you to be able to go, well, Ken said, take this much money, put this here, this there. I want to make it easy for you. And oh, by the way, there are two of my favorite ways to play. And I think... I just think the new people should do it. There's a lot of different things, and there'll be people that disagree with me, and that's fine. But this is for the new person. This is what I want you to do at the craps table. Okay? So, without any further ado whatsoever, let's get to it. All right, everybody, we're over at the table, and this one is for you new folks. And I'm just going to break this down of what I want you to do. Um, I'll try to explain some of it, but I'm not here to go into them. I don't want to confuse you. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to the table with a $300 to a $500 bankroll. Okay. Three to $500. Usually it's 20 times your initial bet. We're going to pretend this is a $15 table. Okay, so we'll just say we go in with $300, okay, so I think that's, oh, let's see, 10, 10, 20, 25, 25, so there's 100, we'll do 100, we'll just sit that right here, and there's 100, and then, uh, We'll do 125, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Go in with three to five hundred dollars. All right. What's your uh, your first bet when it's when this puck is off? Okay, that means you can bet. All I want you to do is look at this. Don't pass. I don't give a crap about any of this other stuff. I want you to go fifteen dollars on the don't pass line. Okay. Uh, I will tell you the 7 or 11 you'll lose, 2 or 3 you win, and a 12 you'll tie. Okay, We're not going to hedge this one like I like to do with $15. I'm not going to do it. You could hedge it with 30 but I don't want you to. Okay, I want you to just go $15, don't pass. All right, now let's just assume that uh, the point is a 10 or a four, I want you to put $60 odds, $60 odds, okay, that pays one to two, so 60 would pay you 30, okay, if it's a four or a 10, I want you to put $60 odds, if it's a nine or a five, I want you to put 30 On a five or nine, 30 will get you 20, three to two, or two to three, sorry. But don't worry, just four or 10, lay 60. Uh, five or nine, 30 will get you 20. If it's a six or eight, I don't want you to put nothing. Just go bare, okay? That's it. That's how I want you new people to play, just like that. Walk up to the table with your three to five hundred, fifteen dollars on the don't pass, 
Uh, if you come out, you're either going to win or lose on the come out or tie, but it doesn't matter. Let's say you lose. Let's say the dice rolled a seven. Okay, who cares? And you lose it. Fine, don't double, don't triple, just throw 15 back out there. Okay, so now let's say the point was a 10. You threw 60, if you remember what I just said. You put $60 odds to win 30. And then when that 7 comes, you'll win your 15, 1 to 1, and then you'll win your 30 back here. Okay? 5 or 9, you got $30 odds. If you win that one, they're going to pay you 20. Easy peasy. And on a 6 or 8, you don't put anything. Okay? This is how I normally start off, even now, this is how I will start off betting almost every single time, okay? Now, depending on what the dice are doing, which is now, if you're new, it's above your pay grade uh, of what the dice are doing and how you can adjust. So you don't worry about it. You just keep doing what I told you to do. Until you get to your win goal, whether it's 10%, 20%, 30%, whatever you set for yourself, once you win the goal, get up and walk away. If you lose your loss limit, go away. Very simple. That's how I want new people to play. This is per Ken. Now, if you talk to somebody else, they may disagree, but that's okay. I've been very successful doing it that way. Now. Let's say now you've been doing that and you're ready to progress a little bit. Now what I want us to do is $15 don't pass because this is the minimum table. If the minimum's $25, you've got to adjust your money. But $15 don't pass. Then the dice are rolled. Okay, there's an 11 we would have lost. Put another 15 there, no big deal. There's a 4. Good number, right? Then what would we do? We'd put $60 down here to win 30. Four would be the point, okay? Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to put a $12. Well, you can't. You got to do 15. So I want you to do an $18. I don't have any ones. It doesn't matter. Just remember what I'm telling you. $18 or actually, actually, because uh, I want to be able to regress. I don't want to get too nasty with you guys. Um, if we go 18, we can do a 24, I guess. Let's do this. $24, six. $24, eight. Now, this is the advanced part, okay? You got the first part. $15 don't pass. $60 odds, four, 10. $30 odds, five or nine. Nothing on the six, eight. So now we're, we're, we're progressing now a little bit. So now, Four is the point. We put our 60 bucks to win 30. And now I want you to put $24 six and the $24 eight. Okay. So now we can hit sixes and eights and make money while we're waiting for this seven to come out or while we're waiting for this seven to hit down here. Okay. But you have to be careful up here. You can't leave these here too long. Okay. But if one of these hits, okay, and they pay you uh, the money here, once they pay you, just take it down, okay? Once they pay you, okay, they pay you, bring that bet down. Okay, so now if this gets hit, you can't get hurt. Okay, uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm, I don't want to go too far into this. I just want to show you what I want you to do. So 
recapping. If you're brand new, $15 on the don't pass. If it's a 10 or a 4, $60 odds. If it's a 5 or a 9, $30 odds. If it's a 6 or 8, nothing. Wait for the outcome. Okay? Do your money management. Okay? Take it a little step further. Do the same exact thing. And you can put, if the table minimums are 15, you can theoretically put 18. Okay, on the 8 and 18 on the 6 if you want to. You don't have to regress. Actually, that's getting a little too advanced. Just, just go 18 and 18. Okay, you don't have to worry about why. Just do it. Okay, but as soon as you win one of them and they pay you, Bring it down, or you can bring them both down. That'll be up to you. But whichever one you hit, bring it down. If you get the second one, bring it down. And you wait for this down here, okay? That's as simple as I want to make it if you're new, okay? If you want to get more advanced, I have videos on that. But it's basically a don't pass spread depending on the number with your odds or a little more advanced, a don't pass spread with a six and an eight. Okay. Take a hit, take it down, take the other hit, take it down, wait for the outcome. That's it. That's as far as I want to go with you. Uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions for you. Uh, if you want to email me, Ken those, um, what is my email? Jesus, I haven't done it in a while. Ken knows gambling at gmail.com. Okay, email me if you want to. Okay, very basic, very simple. Now you don't have to be afraid. You know what you're doing. One last time, take three to 500 bucks. Minimum table, 15, don't pass. Depending on the number, will depend on the odds you lay. It's either going to be 60, 30, or nothing. And then if you get froggy, same thing. And at a minimum, six and eight. Once they both hit, take them down and wait for the outcome. That's it. If you just play just that way, <laughs> just that way, and you do your money management, when, when goes loss limit, you will beat most of them freaking people at that table. I promise you, okay? The tortoise, slow and steady. Get in, get out. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate it. And uh, I guess until the next time, y'all, be great.